throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele and video conferences. On July 16, 2011, during a video conference with Supreme Master Television staff, Supreme Master Ching Hai revealed for the first time on earth crucial details about the perilous sights that could drive the most well-intentioned leaders among us toward aggression, even full-scale wars, and what can be done to bring about real peace for all. We now invite you to listen to The Negative Influence on Leaders, Hell Roads, Subportals, and The Roads to the Lower Worlds, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. There you go. I hope it's them as well, huh? Hello. <laughs> please sit down. <laughs> please sit, please sit down, okay? Yes, I'm very sorry, truly. I didn't want you to wait and make in trouble, just I'm handicapped a little bit, okay, at the moment, yes. The work I do, I need at least one dozen of assistants. And uh, the dogs and everything. And they're getting old now and they, <laughs> they get kind of... Uh, Sometimes uh, old age stuff, you know, yeah, and also infection from all the dogs outside and from people and karma stuff, poor dogs. <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Mm. A little late, but I'm okay, huh? Yes. Just now, you, you saw, I, I have to run out because all the dogs run from their room and come to the door. Imagine. They're supposed to stay in their room, yes. I don't mind them to come, it's just we have no room here at all. No, enough for you, not even enough for human, you know, two by three. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Yes, okay, no problem. As long as I can do it, I can do it. It's just, in case like this, uh, please forgive me. All right, let's go. <laughs> Most beloved, loving, and always beautiful Master, we are very grateful and would like to convey a zillion thank yous to you for granting us this new conference, despite your already very busy schedule. Master, last time you shared with us your very precious knowledge about the portals and gates to heavens yeah. and to the lower world. We contemplated on these new revelations and would like to ask you further about this fascinating topic. Yeah, yeah, sure. You look beautiful, Master. Thank you. I just just lucky. <laughs> yeah, I just I just do it by wisdom eye, I guess, you know. <laughs> okay, if you like my look, uh, thanks heaven. <laughs> thanks all the, 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 the makeup artists from heaven. I think they must have helped me to throw on some color or something. Master, you're beautiful. Yeah, just a TV, honey, just a TV. Just a cameraman, they know how. <laughs> thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Yeah, yes. Okay, now we're doing... Yeah, what can I do for you? <laughs> In addition, Master, the current situation regarding war on our planet saddens us. Throughout our known Just one second, Earth... honey, beautiful love. Yes, Master. The dog again. It won't happen again. I block well. <laughs> I hope. They're so strong. Even I block all the chairs and the boxes. They kick them all out and just come anytime. Yes, master. yes, master. Okay, and they, when they hear you and they hear me here, they just want to run in here. Yeah. They think people are here. They want to come welcome, you know, like group meditation style. Yeah, they don't mean anything bad. It just, <laughs> we can't have them here. They will knock all the light off and, you know, jump on your 
on your TV, seeing you sitting there, <laughs> they think you were there. Yeah. Yeah, when you would do that, yeah. Yes. When sometimes they see you guys on TV, he just keep jumping, jumping on, <laughs> want to kiss you guys. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Yeah, cute. <laughs> cute work. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, beauty. Please uh, repeat again. Yes, Master. In addition, Master, the current situation regarding war on our planet saddens Earth. Throughout our known history of Earth, wars have constantly broken out, inflicting suffering and loss of life for countless beings. Yes. Even today in a civilized world, many areas of the globe are either at war or threatened by war. Yes. Master, we pray for a loving planet for all and humbly invite you to share your insights into the causes and consequences of war and how to prevent it from occurring. Master, aside from portals to hell or low worlds, are there any portals to even worse places? You think there will be worse places than hell? <laughs> My God! <laughs> Luckily not! <laughs> but, but, you know, hell or lower world energy can turn any good world or reasonable world into worse places. That's the thing. Yes, Master. Or oh, hell-like. Turn it to hell-like. Yes, Master. Or oh, half hell or suffering like hell. Some kind of hell. Master, why are there countries that have prolonged war? The uh, prolonged war only finished when the killing karma is finished. When both so-called enemies are all dead or injured or broken down bringing many innocent bystanders with them as well. Then the prolonged war will finish, but only then, huh? only in that country or that place. Later on they will return somewhere else to start vengeance again in another life you know, or place. It will also stop if one side decided to forgive the other's blood debt. Because they are also, you see, uh, providers of weapons, producer of weapons. The one who work for their own interests, regardless of yes. other people's lives, they want to continue the war, you know, or inciting the war as well. You see, all kind of this war supporting energy. But there are also negative portals, sub-portals, and roads, lower, you know, roads that push the war to last for a long time. That's why. Yes, Master. So, Master, may we please know where and what countries? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, I will check with the uh, my spiritual diary for this section uh, later. It's a long list, okay? Continue with other yes, questions. <laughs> Okay, Master. Master, wars destroy lives, break up families, hinder developments across all fields and aspects. Why do countries continue on with war even though they know that war is not good? If the leaders of nations or special armed groups happen to be in near or inside or in, you know, in the vicinity or in the uh, lower portal, lower road, or hell portal, or hell road, yes, or related, these kind of related uh, areas, then he, she is prone to aggressive tendency. If that person's moral foundation is not strongly enforced, so then the country or that group will be led into endless involvement in warlike engagement, or start the war themselves, or being dragged into war, okay? Yes, and willingly dragged, willingly participate in warlike uh, activities. This will no doubt exhaust national manpower and trigger economic downturn and subsequently also badly impact the world in uh, chain effect. Yes, Master. Master, where are these places? Just a moment, uh, okay. Just a moment. I come back, okay? 
Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. The spiritual diary. <laughs> Yes. Where are these places that continually have war? Yeah. Okay, where, huh? Yes, please, Master. No, where are the places that, that have these portals, yeah? Not just continue to have uh, war, but have many trouble and war like. Yes, Master. Yeah. Uh, oh, so many. It's a long list. My God. Oh, it's such a long thing here. Oh. Please, Master, may we... Share with us, Master. Uh, wow, okay, okay. Okay, I have to read it. Thank you, Master. I don't remember them by heart. Not this kind of thing, yeah? <laughs> I try to remember only love, happiness, and peace in my heart. Okay, now, wow, oh, so much here. Okay, remember last time I told you the list about the hell and lower road portals, yes? In different countries? Yes, yes. I told you that if the leaders or the armed groups are in the, the you know, negative portals, uh, roads or connection, then they will, they will make war, yeah? Or continue, even though maybe they know war is no good, or even if they want to finish it. And you want to know it now? Yes, please, Master. How about later, huh? Okay. Yes, master. I will okay, tell master. you. I will tell you later. Okay. Because yes, let's other ask questions as well, yeah? And then we can come to that later. It's such a negative thing. I hesitate to even read it. Okay, please, go on. Okay, master. Yeah. Master, why is peace so hard to achieve? Yeah. It has been slow and more difficult because of the negative influence of these low and hellish portals and sub-portals as well, yeah? Mm. Remember I told you about the portals, yeah? Hell portals and lower world portals and lower world roads, <laughs> yes? yes? And uh, hell roads, the connecting roads to hell portals. And there are even sub-portals as well, which I did not tell you. I said too long, <laughs> too much, but I probably will tell you later, okay, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay Master. The sub-portals, and the roads of these negative uh, areas are also troublemaker, war inciting, yes, yes. and uh, bad influence on people, especially if that person has power. Then they will manipulate him or her or them, make them use their power, which they support behind, to make trouble for the world, to cause suffering, pain and death, injure and, and sorrow for people. Because that's their job. They like it, okay? So there are also spawning webs of connecting things, you know, connecting roads, you know already. Yeah. And there are sub-portals. Sub-portals mean, it's like, uh, you know, our road junctions? Yes, Master. Where many roads meet? Like, we yes. call roundabout? Yes, Master. Oh, okay. These are sub-portals, which also almost as powerful like a big portal and influence people a lot. And if leaders of a nation happen to have the headquarters or sit they sit on top of that area, yeah, that portal or sub portals, then we have no end to war. And very, very difficult to have peace. You see? That's why our world keeps having war all the time. One country finish another country and then again and again. Because people will be reborn again and again to get vengeance. I understand, Master. Yes, that's the problem. Master. Yeah, The enemies don't want to give up. <laughs> if they lose this lifetime, they come back again. And even the innocent victims are being manipulated subtly without knowing even. Human beings, if they don't practice true spiritual meditation, and they don't adhere strictly to moral principles, then they're often too weak to defend for themselves. It's all the work of collective karma, as well as these uh, negative energies influence. If a person is morally fit to withstand his spell even, he or she would often feel unwell, yeah, sick, weak, weakness physical, mental, emotional, and vulnerable to negative flashes of unwholesome, 
conscience is to be pitied. The good protective angels are often screaming loud, you know, to warn their protégés, but humans rarely listen. Even if intuitively they feel something not right, like they feel something is wrong, yeah, they feel it's wrong to do this, to do that, or to decide like this, or to listen to their assistants, or to listen to their uh, advisors, you know, they feel something is wrong, is their advisor not right. But life always keeps them too busy elsewhere, you know, until too late, so that they are already halfway or completely entangled in situations or decisions that they will regret later. It can even involve in downgrading or destroying the whole nations or world's well-being for a long, long time after. So, uh, you see, it's not always correct to blame one leader or one country for any unjustified aggression. This world is the domain of negative illusion and power, so difficult for loving souls to disentangle themselves from surrounding webs and traps from the negative power. If one can see the whole drama of negative play, and then we cannot help but feel so sorry for all who are helplessly drawn into the game and made forgetful of their noble origins and purposes. I pray all the time to heaven, please help the erring humans and beasts even, for they know not what they are doing. I think I told you once before, a long time ago, that in Germany, uh, I think in Bavaria, you know where Bavaria is? Uh, Munich is the capital city of Bavaria, okay? München. There is a special wind that blows sometimes across the area, which make people commit crimes more than they normally would or never did before. So the justice system over there always take into consideration of crimes committed in such a special time when the wind blows, when this special wind blows across that special area. And they would grant uh, leniency accordingly. Yeah, this kind of wind is leaking from hell, you know. Yes. Must be hell nearby, yes. And the least it would make people temporarily lose their sound judgment or feeling ill for no reason or being aggressive for no reason. Yes. Even ordinary people or normally very uh, temperate people. Oh. Yes, Master. Yeah. Similarly, lower or hellish energy also make people or animals ill mentally or physically, emotionally, temporarily or permanently even. It depends on a person's fitness in all aspects or it depends on how powerful that particular uh, negative relation there is. Okay? Mm. Yes, Master. Uh, just like when we are not physically fit, we are more prone to illness and infection, yes, and uh, less easy to recover or slower recovery. Uh, now, the people in the lower world portal or hell portal or connecting roles or sub-portals are often vulnerable to attack by surges of violence inside that push them from inside. Not from their inside, but push them from inside, yes? Mm. They influence from inside, yes. And if we are not really strong eh, morally, yes, then maybe we will act on them, on these surges of violence. And the more we act on them, the deeper we'll be in the clutches of the negative force and helplessly become is good instrument. In the presence or nearness of uh, LP, you know, lower world portal, lower world road, hell portal, hell road, a leader who was peaceful will turn war inclined, who wants to stop fighting, but often powerless to do so. 
is to be pity. That's why, you know, I always beg the world to forgive any leaders who err. Give them an exiting road. Give them a chance to exit, go elsewhere, stay alive, have enough time to repent and to recover or to help in recovering their mistakes and rebuild our world again. Have to forgive them any time possible, after all consideration, because it's just karmic background, it's a negative powers game as well. Of course, of course, it's also make use of people's weakness inside, eh? Mm. People do have weakness inside. There's some stronger, some weaker weakness, but do have weakness, the human so. It's not always a person's fault alone. And the root cause of all conflict are not each other's, but the system of this physical realm, arranged by the king of illusion, the negative force, eh? to make all beings pitting against each other in a forever endless cycle of attachment and vengeance and violence. Not only there are tricks and traps, there are spawning webs of destruction shooting out piercing energy, knife-like, arrow-like, bullet-like, making people uh, or animals agitated, feel painful inside and aggressive outside because of the pain, the invisible pain that they endure. Then, of course, they quarrel with each other, fight and kill each other, yeah? for no justified reason. Then it became a habit. Then it became natural for them to live their lives in such destructive patterns. Then conflicts, wars will break out, or disaster, and so on and so forth. This world is like that. Only the lucky ones escape this network of Maya. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us, Master. It's extremely sad. It is sad, and it's sad. When I was uh, like working on this, just to know why peace is so hard to reach, yeah, why war is always evident on this planet, I feel so sad. I cry a lot, a lot, and I had to write it down in tears. Um, in the dark night, you know, alone, because it's so sad, so sad. It's not just all these words that I'm telling you, it's the images of war and suffering of the people that is flashing, you know, well, I, flashing in my mind, eh? in my inner, while I see all this. It's very, very sad. It's real people, real hurt, real pain, real sorrow. Uh, Master, the next question. Besides the zillions of spiritual points that Master gave for peace, is there a way for war to cease and peace to come quickly? Yes, yes. But it depends on the leaders of nations or warring group leaders. It will help very much if those leaders move their headquarters or palaces and they will see things will change dramatically soon after, and good outcome will be evident soon. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I hope they will. <laughs> Hi, Master. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Master. Hi. <laughs> Master? Yeah. Master, is there any way for leaders to avoid war? Uh, yes, yes, but you think they will listen to me? Yes. Huh? yes. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Do uh, you think they ever yes, listen? Yes, yes, Master. Uh, please tell us. Please, Master. You don't say please, you know, please. Right? Yeah. Please, Master. Okay, never mind. I'm just choking a little bit to light up things. Yes, okay. If they want to finish the war quickly, uh, have peace faster, then uh, 
the leaders of these warring nations, or war deciders, war nations, or armed groups, conflict groups, yeah, I mean violent conflict groups, should officially abandon their headquarters, destroy it, destroy it, or seal off, go far away to build new ones, to avoid negative impact, and avoid the killing energy of that place, avoid bad luck for themselves. Because if you kill somebody, later you get killed as well, you know. You can see it evidently, recently, huh? Get killed or their families get killed, yeah? The leaders avoid the energy, avoid the bad luck for themselves as well, huh? Not just for the nation or all involved. It's for their own family's sake and their own sake, yes? Because even if they are not killed sometimes, they get injured or badly, you know, um, wounded, thing like that, or their, their families are in trouble huh? or get killed in front of their eyes. This is a very sad thing for them as well. And even if all are well in this lifetime, hell will be waiting for them. It's a through and through bad luck area. If a leader or a group leader happen to sit on these negative uh, portals or roads. Yes. yes. Because these negative uh, areas or portals will manifest this killing energy sooner or later, or damaging energy sooner or later. It depends on how bad that road, or how heavy karma, how strong that area, that portal. Yeah, some portals are more powerful than others. Hmm. Even then, it's, it's just it's bad luck through and through. Yeah? If it's stronger, of course, then involve the whole world. If it's milder, then involve the whole nation. If it's less, then involve a group or some people, okay, a so family. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we have to wait until the karma of killing finished. And both enemy may be dead already. And the port of the road will close there, yes, due to some good merit somehow. Or, or there's no use for that uh, portal or road there anymore. But this will take long, 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 long time, and maybe too late for the leader to save his or her life there, and their seats in heaven be lost. They, they should vow to abandon war as well inside their heart, and rebuilding what they can do, rebuilding, you know, help in rebuilding effort, redeem their mistakes. Yes, uh, rebuild, repair the things or places that has been destroyed by their action, directly or indirectly. Repent to heaven and pray for forgiveness and blessing and help to change to a better person themselves. Okay? Right. Yes, Master. Mm. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master, yes, would we, any advice be given as where each should be moved to? Ah, wow. <laughs> you are very kind. Hmm. Okay, you know what? <laughs> yes, Master. Oof, these things are not too comfortable to keep dwelling in, and this is difficult to see and determine from afar, okay? And it takes a long, long time to do research. Even all these things that I'm telling you is the accumulation of many, of long time of meditation practice, you know? It's kind of lifetime. It doesn't just come now in the five minutes when you're asking. It's been accumulating. And then when you ask, of course, I will take out what you want and give it to you, yeah, and answer you. But it's not like, okay, I sit today and I get all this. No, no, no. <laughs> it takes months or sometimes. Wow. Uh, years, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, and then when you ask, and then I would take out what? You see what I mean? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Master. So if we want to know where they should move to, it's also difficult like that. It takes some time. And the best, of course, is to be there and see huh, where it's good, where it's better for them. But it's not too feasible, is it? It's so many places to go. But... Uh, for peace sake, I will try my best, okay, to 
to do thank research. Thank you, Master. Yes, thank you, Master. Yeah, to do research into it. But uh, it takes some time. So not right now, eh? Okay? Mm. Uh, first of all, I have to ask if heaven allows it. If heaven does allow, maybe I can do some exchange, you know, like negotiation with the negative power, with the karmic pattern, uh, the person, the department that in charge of the karmic patterns, uh, then maybe we could find a better place for them to move to, if they even will move. Yes? Hmm. If they will, suppose I could find a place, suppose I can negotiate, yes, with my spiritual merit uh, bank account, I mean, buy enough, <laughs> suppose I could, uh, and suppose they would listen and move, they don't have to tell me, they can do it quietly, you know. There are many ways to move without people knowing. You can just don't go to that office again, seal it off, make it into something else, yeah, a storage house or something. Yeah, just don't own that place. Don't sit there, don't proclaim that your place. Then at their place, you know, they don't proclaim that, that their place anymore. Physically, emotionally, mentally, they cut tie with that place. Then they will be like reborn anew. Yeah. Peace is easy for them to imagine, to think of, and solution of peace will be readily acceptable to all sides. It will be like a miracle. But uh, even then, the effect, after they move, the effect would take, the least is three weeks to three months, you know, or even more, a little more to complete, so that uh, they will be clean off of this bad clutch, bad energy that, that, that is, uh, you know, clutching onto them. You know, it's like people taking vacation to forget the problem, <laughs> yes, like taking a bath or shower, they will feel clean and be clean. And they will see different attitude in themselves. Their thinking will be different. Their reaction will be different. And the world will be a different place, of course. Yes. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Um, Master, how can one counteract the negative effects of portals to hell or the lower worlds? There is no counter effect except one is taking refuge in a great living master, powerful living master, and uh, decide to forego war for good. If the leaders truly want peace for themselves, or any person who happened to be in that area, or any groups, yes, uh, if the leaders or the group or people want peace for themselves, for their nation, for the world, they should move out elsewhere if they're not strong enough to withstand this negative power that keeping them feeling violent inside, yeah, and then acting violent outside. They should move as up as soon as possible. Leave the headquarter, the presidential palace, the royal palace, even whatever. However beautiful, magnificent, they should leave it. Uh, they could make it into a museum, <laughs> yes, <laughs> or even <laughs> leave it, just store things in there, yeah? And they should not live in there. They, leave, they make it into a museum for people to come and look at it and know that it's a place of no good and learn lessons. Also to celebrate their freedom from the negative clutch, from entanglement in war web and celebrate their heavenly future here and in the kingdom of God after they leave this world, and celebrate peace on the planet. Wow. The whole world and the universe also will rejoice, and they will finally win. They win the heart of their people and the world. If they stay, they will be f war inclined, you know, in their heart, and they cannot escape the the faithful influences of the negative power that make them violent. 
participating in wars or causing wars or wanting wars or, you know, being happy with war. And then the world will hardly find peace. This is how negative power was winning, you see, because we are not resisting. When we are not resisting, it's just like we are helping the negative force. But difficult, you know, very difficult for people who sit in those hell area or lower world area to resist this negative power. They have to be superly strong. <laughs> it's hardly anyone can resist. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Okay? Any more? Ah. Hi, Master. Hi, Mike. Yeah. Hi. Are warmongering people more inclined to be reborn in places with more lower world portals or also hell portals? Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you could say that <laughs> without offending anybody. <laughs> I understand that. Well, if we do, I'm sorry. It's just uh, like that. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Because it, it is a karmic connection, you know, from previous lives. Yes. It's just that it gets worse at these negative places. You see, if, for example, if they have just 1% or 10% of violent tendency within their being, if they live there, they will have more, 100%, 120, 150, 200. You see, who can even measure how much negative power would use that little seat of, of violence within a human's heart? to make him become an instrument for them, for this negative power. You see, it's not necessary, just violence is the greed, you know, the greed, the seeds of greed, the seeds of ambition, the seeds of bullying, the seeds of dictatorship, yeah? Yes, Master. Uh, Like to control people, or like to have power, all kind of seeds within a human heart will germinates and grow big, big, big and powerful in this kind of negative connection portal, okay? Yes, Master. If the people who have just a little bit of violent tendency, yeah, or greed or ambitions or bullying uh, nature, or this kind, yeah, the like, huh? They would be more and more vulnerable to violence or... Uh, negative uh, energy that downloading here, and they will fall helplessly victims to circumstances sooner or later, yes? And eventually, they might or they will unwittingly become a good instrument for the negative force to wreak havoc on other people. I feel so sorry for those leaders who happen to kind of inherit, if you will, <laughs> these kind of palaces or headquarters or presidential mansion, yeah, or um, military headquarters, you know, that burn them with all this negative energy from within. You just need a little bit of, of negative tendency within you to connect with this negative vast power, just like we just meditate every day a little bit, we we'll connect with the, the big powerhouse of the universe. If we have negative tendency, we will connect with the negative side. You know, maybe the connection not that strong, but slowly, 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 it will accumulate inside that person and make them a perfect instrument for the evil purposes. Or negative, less evil, but negative. Energy. Yes, Master. I feel very sorry for them. If you can see the real cause behind all this conflict and violent actions, you see people, they are not all 100% responsible for all the actions that cause pain and damages. The same president or prime minister or leaders of some kind, if they are sitting in another located place, you know, a better place, a more lucky place, a luckier place or more positive place or even neutral place, will make better decisions based on sound judgment. Oh, may heaven be lenient on them if they err. Because 
a little palace or headquarter on the spot, any spot that belongs to these negative related places, even if he or she is mild temperament and intended originally to do good, honestly, sincerely, yeah, would also be struggling inside with violent turmoil and finally may be too tired to resist this influence from negative power or felt ill or being eliminated sooner or later. Well, if you don't believe me, check out, check out. Maybe after I give you the list, you check out all the events in the world. You might compare it, and then maybe you can see it better than what I'm telling you. Yes, Yes. Master. And even if this person, if this leader wants only peace, honestly, sincerely, things might still happen to drag him into warlike decision. And he's helpless. Even if he doesn't want to make decision, his advisor, his assistant, his secretary, his power, his government, his surrounding group will also force him or influence him into warlike decision. Uh-huh. It's all the cunning work of these domain systems of negative power. We all need a super, superhuman willpower, moral fitness and determination to stay afloat. <laughs> I feel too sorry for the whole planet, man and beast and all. I truly feel sorry. I feel too sorry. That's why I'm I'm doing what I'm doing, because I cannot blame any of them. I can only blame of the system of this world. And then when they do a little bit here, a little bit there, and then slowly they will be wholly negative. And then they'll be instruments. And then they come back again, be more instrument for the negative. And if they're back again, it's like that again and again, and more and more. You see, I mean, that's how they're winning. That's how they lure the negative power, lure people, innocent people, good people, into their system, into their work, working system. Yes. Okay, now you know. Thank you, Master. Thank you for giving us that insight. Welcome, Mike. Master, the next question. Yeah. Some of the nations where Master said hell portals exist, like New Zealand, are currently not in war, mm-hmm. while in others, like Afghanistan, there is conflict. What is the reason for this, and perhaps is the effect of the hell portal in New Zealand manifested in a different way, such as a natural disaster? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like you say, Mike. It's like you say, destruction manifests in different forms. Yes, people suffer just the same. Also, war is not always inside the country itself. Yes, oh. but aggression can be carried on outward, like going to make war with others or participating in wars in other countries. Oh. Uh, if I am not wrong, New Zealand also has engaged in war elsewhere, like Cyprus, Vietnam, etc. You see what I mean? They yes, send master. troops there. Yeah. yeah. I think they have been participating in wars, you know? For example, these two master. countries. Yes. So it's the aggression that stimulated from these negative places, you see, that triggers such unpeaceful decision and participation. That furthermore destroys uh, also that country with this newfound comet debt. You see, more coming that now than before even. Hence, you can see earthquake, typhoon, etc., etc. Yes? yes, Master. Yes. Apart from killing animals also, of course, ne? New Zealand is also one of the top provider of meat and the like. Yeah? Yes, Master. Animals, meat and productions. Maybe not top leader, but they're famous, you know. Their production, animal products are famous. One of the famous ones. Maybe not top famous, but famous. People know about it and import it from New Zealand. Okay, you know, it's not just our right to war, eh? I have a little note here. But uh, it could be dictatorship, you see, or ruling with iron fist or Berlin citizens or others, uh, Berlin others into submission, yeah, whether their own citizens or outside a citizen, or other country citizens. Yes, Master. 
All right, I've noticed these things. If don't make war, then also very strong rule. What else? That's all for me, Master. Thank you very much for your answers. You're welcome, Mike. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year, or half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. Hi, Master. Hi. Bonjour. Mm. Poland? Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you, Master. Master, what do the beings who in the lower world at the Bermuda Triangle look like? Do they have a physical form or another form? As their energy must be very coarse, heavy, and negative. Yeah, they look like you and me. Ah. Wow. <laughs> They're from us. They look like us. They look like human. But it's just in astral form. They retain their astral form. Uh, yes, they are coarse and heavy in energy, of course, uh, even in the astral form. Uh, some look, uh, of course, uh, very uh, not as good as we do, of course. What I mean is they do look like human, yes? yes when they die, they look the way they do when they were alive, yeah? yeah? Some people in this world even have this kind of energy, even though they look like a human. But... Uh, when you go near them, you don't want to be near anymore, or you feel agitated. When seeing them, even from afar, even if they don't know you, you are looking at them. When you're nearing them, seeing them, you feel agitated. You even feel you want to stay away from that person. You feel very agitated and sometimes angry, and you feel very bad mood for no reason. Yeah, Even though they are... In physical form, they, they are just reincarnated from hell or lower world. Mm. Very, very uncomfortable to be near them at all times. Even if they look normal or sweet or even smiling, some people are very uncomfortable to be with. Yes, Master. But luckily, you know, as we are humans, we are more protected because we have physical body. But the astral body, when you are in the astral form, you are vulnerable to all kind of pain, sensitive feeling or suffering. You cannot hide. Yes, Master. And everything is transparent to you and you are transparent to everyone else. So is it even good to have human bodies? Uh, that's why some people don't feel as uncomfortable <laughs> because they are in human body, they don't feel that sensitive. But if you practice spiritually, you'll be more sensitive to good and bad. Yes, Master. Yeah, okay. Was there a time in the Earth's history when there was no war and peace prevailed? If so, what made a change? No, it hasn't changed. <laughs> in fact, it might have become a little better. That we don't have World War I, World War II, yes? But it, we always have war somewhere, you see? Yes, yes, Master. If not war between humans, then war between humans and animals going on all day, every day. Or between animals themselves even. This world of ours has not evolved enough yet, spiritually, 
to a peaceful planet. But it will in the near future. Wow. Let's Thank pray. you, Master. Mm. <laughs> Let's pray. Mm. Let's pray that total peace happens when we are still here to witness, yes, when Master. you and I are still alive. Still. We are all fatigued already of war and destruction. It's time for rest and rebuilding and enjoyment. Yes. yes. This physical planet, even though it's physical, but it's beautiful. Yes. We should all take time to enjoy you know, all the wonder and splendor and all the love of the family, friends and neighbors and dogs and birds, etc., etc. Don't you think? Yes, thank you, Master. Then I don't have to work so hard. At least I myself want to have peace, yeah, personally, so that all negative places will shut down. Yes, all Master. All the health portals will be out of function. Yes. They will be jobless. Yes. I don't care where they go. They will be unemployed. Yes. Yes, the unemployed race in hell will raise <laughs> thousand percent. <laughs> all jobless, yeah, all, all go in pension. I don't care what they do. Yes, <laughs> shut down anyway. Yes, <laughs> so that I don't have to meditate too long hours. Uh, I tell you the truth, meditation long hours is not all funny. Eh? Uh, yes, you have to sometimes force yourself to sit there. Hmm. No. Especially when you have other things to take care of on this physical planet. Yeah, if I don't have to meditate, don't have to meditate long, because I don't have to meditate for myself anymore, to tell you the truth. I meditate now just for the planet, for the people, for the animals. Thank you, Master. So if the planet is peaceful and vegan, then uh, I don't have to meditate long anymore. I can spend quality time with my dogs. They don't have to come scratching and be just now push away into living room again so I can spend time with them to their heart content. I can walk them in the day and, you know, sleep with them in the night. And if peace is there, trust will fill our human heart also, yeah, that they would realize what is good for them and who is good for them, you know, and what the truth is when spoken so that naturally I can give help more and more to the world to elevate this planet up to the highest possible standard. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Master, thank you for your tremendous hard work to help make heaven on earth. We know you've been working very, very hard for us all. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I just uh, wish I could do more. I wish I could do more. We know. Just, we know. Thank yeah, you for your okay. work. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, tell me, Steve. Master, <laughs> you had mentioned before that since people don't see the immediate retributions of their bad actions, they tend to be more oblivious to the concept of bad karma. It's true. Humans are waging wars with animals every day. Does this, in turn, propel future wars and, and conflicts? Yes, yes, it does, Steve, it does. Killing karma is heavy. When there is enough violent energy of killing, concentrate in one place or in one country, war will break out there, or disaster of grand scale will descend upon that place or on the world. We are already seeing a lot of them lately, no? Yes. Let's hope that all will come to their senses and stop all violence between humans and animals, toward animals, before worse disaster even manifest, and before things get more out of control in our planet, in our world. Either we must wait for bad karma to end or move, you know, the leaders, the one who can decide a big, important decision should move to improve their lot and improve our lot and make clearer, more correct decision. We can beat fate if we have faith. 
But to move away is a faster and better chance to have peace on the planet. And to move away and to stop killing animals, you see? Yes, yes, yes. A normal person, even a normal person, if in the negative zone, will probably ruin his career, his family, broken or harm himself or his loved ones. But a leader of any kind in this location will trouble the whole nation or the whole world even. The negative power is even very mighty. And expanding on our of God moments and manifest its havoc sooner or later in war of any kinds or in disasters. The negative power takes advantage of the vulnerable, the naive, the egocentric, the ambitious, the greedy to capture their weakness and enslave them to serve their evil empire at the expenses of their souls and others unlucky who are involved. Though reluctant at first, later it will envelop these souls and it gets harder and harder to break away from them. And willingly or unwillingly might cause so much suffering to others. Master, how can we stop this devil's cycle? Yeah, if we all want to stop. <laughs> if we all want it to stop, it will stop. If we take action to halt it, it will stop. No more trespassing other nations. Share all the resources accordingly. No more provoking neighboring countries. No more producing or distributing destructive weapons. Settling all disputes by verbal dialogues. Try all the best to halt the violence of any kind. Then the cycle of evil will stop. Master, you, you said that if one kills an adult person, one would lose one to four billion spiritual merit points. Yes. What happens when thousands of people are killed in a short period of time, such as in a war? Huh. We can't even imagine the heavy comic burden that those responsible will have to bear in the so near future. If not in this life, then after this life. The after life is even more so frightening that I wish no one this fate. I wish no one to ever have to know it, to experience it. It is too horrifying to even think about it. If the leaders who engage in war know about their fate after life, because of the war that they're involved in or created. They would die with fright now and never want to wage war at any cost. They would abandon their country, their power, their throne, their palace, their wealth, their possession, whatever. They would abandon all and run away to avoid suffering. And they go into the forest, repent or meditate or pray all their life with penance, whatever, so that they can avoid this kind of suffering after life if they can see it now. Just they don't see it. That's why they continue. What is the impact of the drastic loss of spiritual merit points on a place or the group that committed mass killing of humans, Master? Oh. We can't begin to count or finish. Uh, we can't even finish it, counting. We can't even finish counting. Those responsible will stay in hell with all kinds of horrid, painful agony for eons or more, enduring untold suffering. Nobody can help them. Heaven will be helpless. They will die again and again the way their former victims did multiple times over and over. But the thing is, they cannot even truly die. They just suffer all the agony, the pain, as if dead or injured, but fully conscious. You understand? Fully conscious yes, I understand. of the pain. 
I mean, in this world, if you are under operation, the doctor gives you anesthesia, okay, so that uh, you don't feel the pain. But in hell, no. You're fully conscious and you'll be feeling like that again, again and again, non-stop. Can you imagine? Yes, terrible. Terrible, yes. That's why I told you I cry many times during meditation, knowing all this. I don't even want to look into this because it pains me so much and it's horrifying even to know. But for the sake of all people in this world, I have to do it. It's not comfortable. It's a very painful process to check out on all this. I understand, Master. Okay. Thank you very much, Master. Yeah. Hi, Master. Hi. How are you, Sarah? Good. Thank you, Master. You look better now than before. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Master, will the consequences of climate change, such as the rising number of climate refugees, intensify the possibility of war? Yeah, it's obvious. Anyone can answer that. <laughs> you don't have to ask me. <laughs> yes. When basic necessities are intensely short of supply, yeah, and when people are suffering from hunger and thirst and sickness without medicine, without money, yes, people might do anything, you know, to help themselves to survive. Even ordinarily good people we try all to rescue and protect their family and themselves. Yes? Pray that world power will take good care of all in need so that these people will not be forced in any way by circumstances to engage in war or the like. We have to pray. Yes. Amen, Master. Yeah. Master, some countries are suffering wars on protesters. Um, such as Libya, Syria, and Yemen. Yes. Um, I also noticed that there seems to be no spiritual blessing portals or spiritual blessing lines in Libya, Syria, or yeah. Yemen, for example. It's true. Um, but there don't seem to be portals to hell or lower worlds either in these places. Is this correct, Master? It seems so, yes, but it's not correct. <laughs> what I mean is, uh, this country also used to have uh, spiritual blessing lines, for example. They just disappear, okay? And uh, um, I check if they have any hell. <laughs> oh, I, as I told you before, there might not be a hell or lower world portals, but there will be hell roads, Spaster. connecting roads or sub-portals, like those around abounds that I have told you about. Mm. Yes. yes, Master. These yes, will Master. also cause trouble, war, suffering, and pain, or hungry, famine, disaster, just the same, okay? Maybe a little less a degree. I check. Oh, thank what country you. did you say again? Um, yes, Libya, Syria, and Yemen. It would be very okay, helpful. If, if, okay, if you know. I check. Libya, Libya, Libya. I check my spiritual note, okay? Oh, Libya. Thank you, Master. Oh, you're welcome. Just a moment. Libya should be in here. Oh. Libya, Yemen, and? Syria. Okay, Syria is quicker, I tell you. Yemen, okay. Yemen uh, in the presidential palace has one roundabout, sub-portals, oh, one hell sub-portals inside, and three a hell road uh, in, and one hell road near, about two meters near. Wow. And the, uh, negative, the negative impact of that is about 400%. Wow. wow. That's Yemen. Furthermore, in the military headquarter, there's one lower road in, and uh, one sub lower portal in, and three lower road near, about two, three meters near. The effect is 300 
Eighty percent. Wow. And then where was that? Another one is、uh, Syria. Where is Syria? Syria President Sopalas has one sub lower portal and four lower road in. Both are in. One sub lower portal in and four lower road in. Okay, the effect is two hundred eighty percent. Wow. Syria, Yemen,、mm, Libya, Libya. Okay, you want Libya?、Uh, Libya, where's Libya? Libya,、uh, leader, residence. Okay, the leader of Libya, residence.、Uh, there is one sub help portal in. And three hell road in, and one hell road about two meters near. Wow! The effect is negative. The negative effect is five hundred percent. Oh my goodness! On that leader and his families, it's the residence. It's not the palace. I don't know if there is a palace there, but the residence of the top leader. You know, the the leader of Libya. Yes, master.、Right. Anything else? I will tell you the other country later. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Okay, Master. For those who don't know, the Yemen presidential palace was attacked and shelled a month ago, and the president was badly wounded due to that. For those you don't know, what? Or I wanted to share for those who don't know, may not have known. Okay. Okay. Yes, he is still recovering in Saudi Arabia, or maybe he came back again already. But he's still recovering. He was burned a lot,、uh, very, very badly. Yes, he looked very bad on TV. I feel so sorry for the old man. So sorry. He doesn't look like the dignified president that we saw a few, you know, a few months ago. He looked like a poor old,、uh, you know, burned out patient. Yes, master. <sighs> What is the use of all this power? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. You asked before about、uh, the three nations, ah,、huh? that don't have any hell portal and low portal. But I told you they have、uh, other thing. You know, the roads and the sub portal is similar. You know, similar. It's a little less, less intensity, but still cause trouble. Yeah, cause war or violence. It's the same. These. Presidential palace or this country used to have more spiritual blessing lines. Now, but I noticed that also almost all palaces or headquarters of leaders of some kind, you know, either president or prime ministers or group leaders, have no positive blessing in or near. Wow. No positive blessing connection, you know, like blessing lines or blessing portals, you know, no. Most of them don't have, except two. Portala of Tibet have one spiritual blessing line still in there, and Monaco Palace have one, but seven meter near. <laughs> wow, <laughs> seven meter away, so the effect is not too much. Just one Portala head. The rest of the world's leaders' palace don't have anything. Master, is there hope for peace? For such countries that are mired in conflicts between the government and the citizens, calling for democracy and freedom. Yeah, there is always hope. Hope is all we must have. We should have, and we should hold on to it. Okay. Yes, yes. Master. We pray for them. We hope and we pray for them to wake up to a better solution. For the leaders to value their own lives and the lives of their co-citizens more than power and fame and possession, yes, so that they might move, they should, they value the lives more than all that. So they move out of war, move out of cruelty and aggression, move out of violence to another palace. At least to another palace. <laughs> If cannot move from inside, move to another palace, to a peaceful palace in their hearts, 
as well as a better physical palace location elsewhere. I hope I can find one for them soon, and I will tell you in the next conference if I can. Oh, yes, please. If yes, I can find. If I can find. I cannot promise, okay? I cannot promise anything yet. Um. It will be difficult. Oh, but it would be so beneficial for the leaders and for all the world. Could Master please try? I will have to sacrifice many more hours and um, probably some things. Probably have to to negotiate. I can't promise, but I will try my best. Okay, I would Thank like to try so my much, best Master. for the peace of the world. Please yes. do, please. If heaven allows, I will do it, no matter what it costs, to me. Yes, we pray heaven will allow. All right, any more questions? Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Master. Hi, Choco <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Hi. Master, many soldiers of conscience refuse to go to war or defect because they believe the war is morally wrong, mm. such as in the case of invading another country, especially after seeing that many wars don't, in effect, resolve anything. Right. These soldiers of conscience are often looked down on and punished. Master, do you feel this sort of nonviolent objection to war is a good way to bring about peace? Yeah, well, it should be so. Yes, Master. You see, that they have nothing to do with these karmic debts of blood. That's why they don't want to participate in it. Moreover, they have strong conscience in them, strong moral standard ingrained in them that they know is wrong. Their souls know is wrong. But if they are forced to kill, they will be in. You know, just like every others. Yes, ma'am. Thus, more people will be entangled in war. Then, more evil cycle. See that? Yes, this is how the negative works. This is how the vicious energy affects and infects more and more victims. Yes, I feel non violent objection to war is a heroic deed. Indeed. Indeed, it's a heroic deed. Yes, Master. The defect in it shoulders from war of any kind or from violent group any kind should be applauded and given medals medal of peace yes master okay? not those who kill but those who defect who refuse to kill should be given medal of peace because they're courageous they dare to go against mighty erring law and power Yes, they know they could be killed, but they yes, dare yes. oppose it. They know they could be imprisoned, but they dare stand up for their uh, belief, principle. You see? Mm. Yes, Master. War would stop if we all refused to participate in any killing of humans and animals. I applaud yes. these defecting people. They are my heroes. Okay. Thank you, Master, for that answer. Master, Welcome, Choco. how can the soldiers find peace in doing their duty when they know inside that war is wrong? They can't. In what other ways could soldiers promote peace? They can't. They can't find true peace inside. How? Yeah. That's why either they defect or there are so many disorders in the army, as you know it. Yes? Yes, Master. Yes. Not even all are reported. The percentage of disorders are more than we see on the newspaper or on the report. So many youthful, handsome, strong people, strong youth, you know, the innocent and pure, succumb to traumatic mental, psychological, emotional breakdown. Most soldiers never return in one piece. One piece, you know. Yes, They're broken. Master. They are broken human. Yeah. Killing is never a human's nature. It's against our own inherent goodness and compassion and love. That's why we suffer for a long, long time after if we do kill. Be it killing human or be it killing animals. We suffer. We cannot find peace. Okay? Thank you, Master. You're welcome.
Hi, Master. Hi. Yip. Yeah. How's your husband? Okay. He's okay. Thank you, Master. Tell him I thank him for all the help in translating. Okay. Thank you, Master. Thank of course. Master. Thank you also. Master, how does war affect a common soldier uh, in this life and the next? Okay, Yip. In this life, if the soldiers return home, he will return a broken man. If he even returns, yes, he might cause worry and troubles for his family and, of course, for himself after the war, after he returns. He will have nightmares, terrible nightmares often, relieving hellish sceneries or images that he witnessed or partially created in war zones or conflict zones. He might even commit suicide when he can't bear no longer the inner torment. Then if he die, hell awaits him. All the ones he killed rush toward him to torture him forever, apart from all the devils in hell. That's what happened. And Master, what can we do to help the war veterans and their families recover from the trauma of the battlefield? Um, which sometimes even drives uh, young soldiers who uh, return home um, from the war alive to commit suicide. Yeah, I told um, you. For example, can meditation um, on the light and sound um, help with the recovery uh, from PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder? Uh, and how? It would help, but... Uh You know, uh, light and sound, the heavenly light and sound are sacred. It's only for people who want to reconnect it with heaven, okay? Who want to forsake uh, all the, the drama and the desires of this world in order to be one with God again, okay? It's for the noblest purpose, not to use for curing the physical or mental, or psychological, though it might help, of course, it's not the purpose. Okay, that's why I have never advertised in any of my lecture that okay, please come and you will be healed. You know, heal the sick and, and cure the blind. And I always tell you, come and then you be connected with your great self, with heaven, with the kingdom of God. Be one with God. Okay. Mm. Yes, Master. Using uh, the the light and sound of heaven for any lesser purpose, for the physical benefit. It's just like using an elephant to transport a mosquito. I am not a psychologist, but uh, I do help sometimes before, like I donate hundreds of thousand dollars to help the veterans uh, who, who need, yes? Yes, Master. And I do other things, yeah, if I can. But you do what you can to comfort them, or anyone can do what they can to comfort them, yes? The best help is never, ever sending them to war in the first place. Yes, Master. <laughs> what can we help them? How can anyone tell him to forget what he saw in reality, in real war? Real war, real suffering, real people pain and sorrow. It's not a movie that you can just turn off and forget and watch the next one. You see? Yes, we have to pray that our world will never again spell the word war, but that peace will be written all over the planet and all over the face of all living on earth. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hi, Master. Hi, Olivia. Um, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Um, thank you very much, Master, for all those precious information that have been so helpful for the world. Um, Welcome. My question is, Master, what happens to those soldiers' souls when they died fighting for their country, but not at their will? Uh, for example, if they have been forced to fight, or if it's just their duty, since they were born to a country where the leaders want to go to war, can they go to heaven? Mm -mm. I wish they would. Oh. You see, Olivia, those who kill 
no matter what, no matter why, no matter how, will never forget it, nor forgive themselves. So their souls will be drifting in some dark and terrifying places, or, or suffering, or torturing places, until the effect wears off, okay? until their karmic debt of blood is paid off in some form. Even if it's not their fault, it could take forever, poor souls. I told you, killing is absolutely against our own nature, okay? Yes, Master. It's not heaven who condemns us. It's we who cannot pardon our sinful actions. And we never forget or forgive ourselves. We have to pay, okay? Understand, Master. In some form. All right. Master, what about the, the residents who are victims in war countries? What happens to their soul after they die? Uh, are they redeemed? Um, have they paid their debts? It depends on how much the debt was, you see? It depends on if they die forgiving or hating the so-called enemies. If they die praying for salvation to enter heaven and forsaking our earthly uh, ties or desire of angels, of vengeful thought, then they will be cleansed and go to different heavens accordingly, yes? But if they still harbor any physical attachment, either good or bad, uh, from this planet, in this world, then they will have to return here, you know, depends on their debt, okay? okay or master. if they haven't paid enough, they must go to hell. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi, Thao. Mạnh giỏi, mạnh giỏi, Thao. Yeah, mạnh giỏi. Thank you, Master. Um, to prevent war, is there perhaps a critical mass of meditators or percentage of the population meditating during the worldwide meditation times? Master has said that can prevent war. If there is a critical mass, what number of meditators or percentage of the world's population meditating would this be? The more, the better, of course, yeah? Uh, Two-thirds of the world population is minimum. It would be okay. Yes, the more, the better. The whole planet would be best. <laughs> but we should all meditate anyway to pray for heaven's grace as we never know when it is our last hour of this physical life, yes? When we pray hard or meditate sincerely, uh, at least we ourselves have peace now. See? For ourselves. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Master, okay. does the countdown have any relation to war, as in do we have a set period of time for humanity to correct its current negative actions to prevent a global war? Mm, no, no, no relation. Oh. It's for the time we have to do reverse actions to save the planet as we have it. Yeah. After that, it's kind of too late or will be more difficult. But war often breaks out, too, in dire situations. Like when good people are fed up with being docile and get nothing positive from it, you know, no reward from it. Just more oppression from the power that be, or more suffering due to lack of all basic necessities and lack of goodness in leadership. Yes, Master. Thank you. You're welcome, Tao. Hi, Master. Master. Hi. As Master has shared with us in the previous conference, so many SBLs have been disappearing so quickly. It was alarming to find out about the countries that had lost some or even all of their SBLs. Mm. Sometimes the cause for this is not that apparent. It is not always obvious which bad actions were increased or intensified by the people in those areas. Right. So did some places lose the SBLs they had before? because the people there have been actively obstructing God's message and work? Yeah, you can say that. Mm -hmm. That's one of the strongest, I mean, the strongest reason of all the main reasons, yes? Because if God's love and energy is allowed to be there to protect that country, through, for example, virtuous people or a powerful enlightened master, 
then SBL will also be protected. SBL did not disappear overnight. Uh, bad actions, you know, negative actions, have been accumulated over long period, and any like so-called tip of the scale event will offset the cosmic balance in that area. So negative power will seize more opportunity, seize more excuses to take more control, you see, uh, and influence more in the negative way the people in the leading positions. In the universal plan, there is fair game. Uh, likes attract likes. If we lean toward negative tendency or exercise negative action, the negative results will be what we reap. If we welcome positive power and goodness, then constructive outcome will be certain. Is scientific. Yes, Master. Right. Thank you, Master. Master, for the countries who unfortunately lost SBLs, do you think our association members in those countries could do anything to help to regain them? I wish they could. Hmm. Yes. They can only keep the country afloat if that is the maximum they could do. Yes? Yes, Master. If there are enough number of the Initiates, yeah, the one who practice light and sound. If there's enough people in that country, they can keep that country out of more negative influence, out of more disasters or out of war. Yes, but as I said before, it's fair game in the universe. God has to be fair, heaven has to be fair. Okay, so whatever the majority of that country is leaning toward, or acting out the result they will have to yes, bear, okay? Yes. The uh, initiate in our group are small in number compared to the majority of the world and in any country. So if the majority under those leadership does not wake up, not turn toward the light, then darkness is what they will encounter. But the initiates themselves would have all they need. They would have light. They would have blessing, they would have protection, with or without SBL. Wow. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. As I have promised you, they have already a guaranteed place in heaven waiting for them anyway. Yes? If we cannot rescue the whole world, then at least we rescue ourselves and those we love and those who come to us, you know? Trust yes, us. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. Catherine, okay. Yes. Master, is there any relation between the sun and spiritual blessing portals in terms of blessing our world? No, you mean ego power or something? Um, the same power or do they give the same blessing? Oh, oh different, different, yes, yes. <laughs> The sun could be exploded or disappear even if humans don't have enough merit. But the oh. heaven uh, spiritual blessing power will not, or the heaven portal will not, okay? Yes, ma'am. They're more stable. Mm. These are separate entities anyway, okay? Each does different job. Though they do all give blessings to the planet and all beings on it the best they can, the deities... The influence, the lifespan is different. The function is different. The sun is to bless indiscriminately, but the sun could disappear. Uh, yes, if the human's uh, merit uh, become low, okay? The SBL, uh, spiritual blessing lines, are to hold the world intact as well, but also depends on human's uh, worthiness, virtues and merits to continue or not continue. The spiritual blessing portals are to give blessing to the world, to stay stationary, in order to counter some of the negative influence. Okay? Yes, wow. That's nice. Thank they you, Master. They are more lasting. They are more stationary. Okay. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. 
Master, how can spiritual practitioners around the world make use of all these spiritual blessing portals? Mm, go to Meoli and meditate there, <laughs> <laughs> if you can, <laughs> or want to. There's one spiritual blessing portal and other blessing line, two spiritual blessing lines, they congregate there on the top of a hill where I used to have my wood oh, cabin. Wow. <laughs> not the Thai in sun, not the Thai in sun. Yes, I used to have a wood house, a wood cabin, near next to the resident guard. You know, yes, used to have it there, but uh, it's demolished already. But the power is not demolished. <laughs> but the, the hill is very small. The oh, hill is very small. Yeah, and I told him to plant trees on it. Uh, maybe about maximum about ten people can sit there. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, but it influences the whole place anyway, okay? Mm. All the places we have, all the places uh, we have, but not easy access by great numbers, even if we have spiritual blessing portals. It's not uh, accessible in such great numbers, okay? Okay. As I told you, it's, in this world we don't have peace yet. If a time comes, okay, when possible, I will inform you where, and then maybe just... A group, small group, you come and go, and then it will be okay, yeah? But spiritual blessing portal is only one or two square meters even, okay? Yes. So if you want to squeeze all of you in there, <laughs> or all the initiates to squeeze in, it's not possible. It can, can only be one or two persons sit in there at the time, okay? <laughs> yes, Master. Yeah, but don't worry. You have the sun, the moon, the stars, the air, the trees, the plants, the sea, the rivers, the earth, the animals, wild and domestic, the angels, the gods and goddesses, uh, uh, a lot of blessings. And you, Master. <laughs> and we have you, Master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master, is there any way we can utilize the power of the spiritual blessing portals to change people's hearts and to promote world peace and world veganism? No, no. <laughs> they are not there for those purposes, but they give blessing nevertheless, okay? Automatically, as much as they can, yes? They are here actually just to bless the whole planet, like, like I said, a stationary place to balance the world, to help as much as possible so that things don't get too bad or too soon, okay? To counter the negative influence as much as allow. But if we don't have enough merit, the earth may disappear anyway, or we may disappear anyway altogether. SBL, SBP, or not, of no avail. Yes, Master, I understand. The main thing, the main thing is we have to change. The human race have to change for a nobler way of life, okay? Then everything else will be okay. Seek you first the kingdom of God, and all the things shall be added unto you. It's like that. Yes, Master. Be enlightened, be virtuous, then all things will automatically come into your pocket, and ask, and pray for. Otherwise, even if we're praying, it's very little wow. effect. Sorry, baby. Thank you so much, Master. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, love. Thank You're you, welcome. Master. And you look beautiful with flowers on your head. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Oh, these are African. They look I'm like that? I'm not sure. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, they do, huh? <laughs> ah, you know what? They're beautiful. Look like a Charles Theron. She's South African. Yes, okay. that's right. <laughs> and uh, some other actress or actor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master. Thanks for your love and blessings. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Man. Anytime. Yeah. Hi, Master. Hi, Jeff. You wear glasses? Yes, I do, Master. Now? You always do or just now? No, just now. Why? <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, never mind. Just now and then when you need, right? Yes, Master. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what is it, Jeff? Yes, Master. Master, you graciously remind us that we have to be thankful to the gods and deities who have revealed these secrets to you, such as the portals to heaven and physical portals on earth. Has Master ever used these portals in your travels? Does it concern you or the world? <laughs> huh? That's only what concerns you and the world. What <laughs> benefit the world? Yeah? 
Yes, Master. But anyway, in the meditation time, we can all access to these portals, okay? Yes, Master. Not just physically. Maybe not physically, but then when you meditate, you access the portal if you deeply concentrate, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. Right. And then can anyone else besides you, Master, make use of them? Yeah, many. <laughs> there are blessed ones who have enough merit to even live there. Wow. On top of it. Yeah. But maybe they don't feel anything. But nevertheless, they do have some blessing, of course, né? automatically. And the saints, the angels, the enlightened masters, either ascended masters or present masters, they use them to enter this world, maybe temporarily or for a long time, to help, you know, when they manifest in this world, uh, for a while or for a long while, to help and to live when they need to. Okay? Yes, thank you, Master. You're welcome. You look good today. Oh, thank you, Master. With the glass. <laughs> That's your accessory, huh? I also have some accessory here to hold my hair in place. <laughs> okay, don't be envious. It's not real jewel. It's only like one one dollar hmm? in the flea market <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't bring any jewelry or any SM clothes, so I buy them in the flea market. Yes, Master. When you informed us that the countdown has been extended two years, could Master please clarify it is two years total from now or an additional two years after the current countdown is through? Two years after the countdown. Oh. Thanks. Wow. Thank you. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, it takes a lot of work, huh? But you know what? Two years is nothing, Chief. I'm happy, but not that happy, okay? <laughs> two years is nothing, but at least... If people want to change, they still have time, you see? Better than only two days, yeah? Yes, yes Master. In two years, maybe people change, who knows? Yes, Master. Okay. What else, Jeff? Thank you, Master. You're welcome. You will extend the countdown more later? What? What do I know? Hmm? <laughs> How do I know the future? Am I a, like seer or clairvoyant or something? Did I ever promise you I can see the future? Huh? <laughs> hmm? It depends on people. The whole planet's population has to change, Jeff. Yes, Master. Don't throw all on me, huh? Yes. Even if I want to, even if I want to save the planet, I can't. The way people are continuing killing each other and massacring animals in billions, how can any positive energy support this kind of system, huh? this kind of lifestyle? or condone this kind of uh, planet. It's obvious, okay? Yes, Master. We have to stop our violent tendency. We have to stop all the killings. Then everything will return to normal and better. That I can promise, but nothing else. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. And you know, right? You don't blame me, huh? You don't blame me. Okay, good. Even if we can save this planet, then only the wealthy people can retain their lives here. Yes, Master. Yeah, and other people who are less worthy, who are still clinging to a not noble kind of life and still kill to live, they have to go elsewhere, you know, in other lower world, lower uh, level of planet, right? Yes, Master. Okay. Let's see how it goes, okay? Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Yeah. Hi, Master. Yes, hi. Um, regarding Plan C and D, uh, if possible, could Master graciously give us an update, please? Update? Ah, don't you see any improvement, any betterment yourself on TV, on the newspaper? Or do I have to do everything, even the things that you can do it easily? Huh? Anyone who can report some positive changes in our world? Anyone who follow up the news? Yes, you Master. You should know better. Huh? Anybody? Yes, yeah. Master. Oh, good, good. You should know better. You are in the reporting 
area. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, Sarah. Yes, Master. Um, we've seen some new developments in the recent months, actually. Good. Um, especially in the area of peace. Yeah. Report to me. <laughs> yes, Master. So, for example, um, Sudan and the South Sudan governments signed an agreement to a yes. agreement to demilitarize right. a disputed frontier region, Abye. Uh -huh. um, soon afterwards, South Sudan became the newest nation in the world and inaugurated a new president. Um, and then more recently... And UN, UN member, UN membership. They got. Yes, Master. Yeah. Yes. And even... Sudan government has signed also peace also with some uh, separatist groups. Yes, okay. in Darfur, that's right, Master. Yeah, okay. So um, that's wonderful. And then U.S., Germany, France, Belgium, and Spain withdrew or announced withdrawals of troops from Afghanistan. Yeah, they already begin, yes. U.S. Yes, already, Master. some already come home and continue, continue. Yes, Master. Yeah, they can't. Of course, they cannot bring the whole, whole troops here. There are too many. Huh? They don't have enough airplane to do it at once. And they have to withdraw, you know, slowly. Of course, it's better that way. Yes. But they should do. The sooner, the better. Okay? Yes. I applaud all this. Ah, wonderful people. <laughs> wonderful decision. Wonderful decision. Yeah, any more? And these events happened um, actually after Master called for world group meditation. So just in the recent months. I told you, I told you, unify energy in a meaningful and positive uh, aspiration will bear fruit, evidently. Okay, good. Very exciting, Master. And then yeah. in Canada, um, they formally ended their combat mission in Afghanistan in July. Mm -hmm. um, the U.S. is engaging in dialogue now with Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood. It's... Uh, agreed to an establishment of a political mission for the Taliban. Um, yes. It removed 14 Taliban members from its sanctions list this week. Mm. Um, okay. Oh, and the Ivory Coast inaugurated their new president, Alassane Ouattara. Yes. And yes. this marked the end to their turmoil. There was a lot of fighting before that. Yes, and suffering and, and death and sorrow and homelessness. It's refugees, yes, yes, wonderful. It's yes. a new era now for them of peace. Yeah, I must remember all this on TV. <laughs> okay? Yes, there's more. Yeah, more? In Honduras, um, the Honduran president allowed the former president to come back to the country to lead yeah. a new political party. Yes. And this, this helped ease the tension with protesters and mm -hmm. even led to Honduras becoming a member of the OAS, the Organization of American States, again. Mm -hmm. Good. Good news. And in Morocco, they uh, held a general vote towards um, reducing the power of the absolute monarchy. Yes. And in Mauritania, they amended their law to better protect freedom of speech for the press. Wow. Okay. Um, in Guatemala, uh, for the first time, an indigenous minority group um, participated in the national elections. Mm -hmm. And in Belgium, the king has moved to try to give the divided country a coalition government. Mm -hmm. In Brazil, the government uh, started a campaign to get rid of one million guns off the street by the end of this year. Wow. Oh. See, so much, yes. And Israel as well dismantled and started to reroute a part of the separation barrier between Israel and Palestine. And um, this is going to restore half the land of the Palestinian village of Bilin. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's very nice of Israel. Wonderful news. I am sure there are more we just don't have time to report now. Uh, even smaller, peaceful events somewhere else, you know, but this is enough for that for now. It's good. Okay, Mike, you want to ask something? No, it was more yes. reporting more events. Ah, I told you it's more. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, in Palestine, 13 Palestinian groups signed a national reconciliation agreement. Yeah. And then also Queen Elizabeth II made a historic peace trip to Ireland as the first wow. British monarch to visit the Republic of Ireland in 100 years. 
Yes. And then, uh, the Before they had was, war, right? Yeah. Before Britain and Ireland had war. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. And then the Mexican and French uh, high-level contacts, they met for the first time, the presidents of their senates, after a strong clash in March. Yes. And then uh, Turkey, it's renovated Armenian monuments as a gesture of respect and reconciliation. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, and also Japan and Russia, relations have expanded, and they're taking steps towards formal peace. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? And Russia and Norway, they've uh, settled their Barents Sea dispute recently as well. Yes. Uh, and yes, then China yes. has pledged not to use force uh, in the sea disputes over the South China Sea with other countries. Right. And then uh, India and Pakistan, they've held peace talks in uh, June 23. Yes. Chile and Bolivia are working on improving ties. Uh-huh. And Kenya now supports the recognition of the Somaliland as an independent state. Wow. Ah, so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you.